Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am here at Karugati Automobiles in Geneva, Switzerland, and we're going to be checking out some real cool cars. Okay, this motorcycle sends out the wrong message. I don't even know what that means, but this is a Yamaha. Now you guys have to guess which one exactly. Probably you guys already know. Anyways, there is a Bentley Continental GT right here and the Lamborghini Urus. Okay, this has nothing to do with the Maruti Suzuki Espresso and honestly, this much more exotic stuff inside the showroom look at that okay yeah lot of these kind of vehicles here but let's get inside because there's a lot of interesting stuff to see now i've already shown you a lot earlier so we're not going to focus much on the ferraris because there are plenty of ferraris now this is the f40 a legendary ferrari car without a doubt look at that wing okay this car set the standard so high that the f50 just could not reach there or even come close to it anyways moving on fast lot of ferraris here there is a mercedes sls amg as well now you guys have already seen half of the cars earlier in the dubai vlogs so we're not going to focus much on that we're going to move around quickly this is the mclaren 720s but again we want to see something really very exotic right so a car which has never ever ever featured on the channel before i guy i think you guys have already seen it there it is the pagani huayra i hope i've said it right because it's a very weird way of pronouncing the car but look at this car it's a piece of art now if you guys don't know this is actually a hypercar which uses mercedes amg power unit yeah it's a v12 just look at the design it is just mind boggling so pagani the founder of the company uh, used to work in renault earlier and then he joined lamborghini and then he started his own firm which used to actually supply carbon fiber to lot of companies but then he decided to make his own cars and this is actually the second model the first was the zonda and we had a lot of versions of the zonda on sale for a real long time as you can see this huayra looks absolutely stunning if there's a car which is you can say designer material this is it and like i was telling you amg sourced v12 motor the engine also looks mind boggling it says handcrafted by whoever has handcrafted it coming to the rear that quad exhaust treatment is a pagani speciality and uh, even the diffuser the lights everything the way this car has been designed is absolutely stunning in fact this thing deploys when you apply heavy braking for better downforce and stability i mean there's a lot of electronic trickery on this car trickery on this car along with a lot of aerodynamics as well this is the huayra roadster and uh, oh my god what a beauty just look at this car i can look at this car for days and because yellow doesn't do it justice we've got another unit this happens to be another huayra again a roadster this one is finished in red <laughs> the way the mirrors have been placed is so freaking stunning the wheels also this guy is a work of art lot of carbon fiber obviously because he is the carbon fiber specialist the founder of the company and uh, he's actually from argentina but uh, because he was working in lambo and before that in renault he's sort of italian you can say half italian if i may and the design is just something else i love the fact how the engine is exposed but not really exposed like in the case of bugatti cars and everything on this car is just mind bogglingly phenomenal especially the trademark exhaust yeah that's something which is just amazing so performance is something you don't even need to talk about because firstly there are very few units of this particular car on the road yeah the zonda was actually the first car which was on sale for a real long time you can see the carbon ceramic disc on the inside in fact we have better light at the yellow one you know what in a pagani standing nobody looks at a ferrari that is the power of a pagani or rather the exclusivity the chrome wheels look mind boggling yeah and the wheel size happens to be i can't find it right now but i believe the wheel size is somewhere like 355 25 21 at the front i think we've got maybe probably 20 inches and smaller size tires obviously staggered setup on this vehicle because rear wheel drive for the win ah uh, this is 255 30 20 255 in fact let me show you to you from below there you see the size of the wheels absolutely mind boggling pagani so karugati is actually the official dealer of pagani since almost i think uh, 20 years or so yeah i think pagani itself is around 20 years old now let me know guys which one do you like more do you like the red or do you like the yellow or do you like this rolls royce in my watch right now okay i can't get over the rolls anyways so lot of ferraris inside the showroom but honestly the paganis are the highlight here 
Now, if I could have seen a Zonda, that would have been amazing. But there are no Zondas for obvious reasons because uh, Zonda has been discontinued now. Ferrari also does this exposed engine treatment. 812 super fast and you know the regular Ferrari stuff we have got. So what should we do? We should actually move in. But before we move in, let me show you some more cool stuff, especially here. Just check this out, okay? The trophies, the scale models, everything looks super cool here. In fact, in the center, we've got, and forget all that, let's look at the chair. Okay, it says Karugati Automobiles. This is a replica of a suspension, and this is a replica of a disc, a brake disc. Super cool seats, isn't it? Anyways, here in the center, we've got some more cool stuff. Now, obviously, because this is Switzerland, you see a lot of exotic watches here. Coming down, a lot of cool scale models, a lot of reflection coming, but Pagani is on the top row, obviously, super exotic. Huayra, Ferraris, lot of Ferraris, and yeah, let's get going. So we've got a Corvette, yeah, a Chevrolet Corvette, and uh, Gagan is roaming around trying to figure out life. Which car do you like the most here? Just say the Pagani Huayra, which one? Red or yellow is the question, not which car, which color is the red, question. Red, I would say. You'll pick up red? Okay, anyways, moving on. This is also pretty cool, huh? Yeah, so this is the Corvette, and uh, this is the C7. A little cheap interiors, but then value for money pricing is what Chevrolet really thrives for with its sports car. And uh, I think this must be the 360. Moving on, yeah, it is the 360 Moderna Bernaletta F1. See the interior, a little plain and basic, if I may. But uh, here, Porsche, a lot of Porsche. Tell me, Gagan. I have changed my mind. Huh. This is a McLaren 720. 720s. Yeah, hopefully we will drive it real soon. Anyways, or probably I've already driven it by the time we've put this video up. A lot of Ferraris, a lot of Porsches, and there is another McLaren. Now, this happens to be, I think this must be the 650 LT. Uh, it's very difficult to make out between uh, McLarens. Now, this is actually the 570S Coupe. Yeah, the way they've parked the cars now, these cars are almost touching the rear. It's like panic for me to see them. And uh, so many Ferraris I've never seen anywhere else. Even in a Ferrari showroom, I've not seen those many Ferraris. Obviously, the Ferrari showroom in Mumbai has like two or three Ferraris at the max. Here we have got a 997 GT3 RS. Now GT3 RS obviously uses a 4-litre motor and a huge wing as well. That Ferrari is an eyesore, honestly. I don't like it. This is the GT2 RS. And um, as I keep moving around the showroom, I realize that there are a lot of Ferraris. The kick-ass number of Ferraris somehow. This is the California. The California, something again I don't like much. And uh, I think there is another RS model, 911. This is, of course, a Bentley with that beautiful logo as well. Now, if I pull it, will it go inside? I don't think so. That only happens with Rolls-Royce cars. This is the Mulsanne. And thankfully, the interior can be seen. A lot of leather, bathed in leather as such. GT2 RS. You've got a Lambo. I know Lambo fans will be excited seeing a Lambo because you guys just love Lambos. But this is actually a McLaren. The Lambo is behind. So this, I think, must be the 650 because I kind of messed up between. Okay, this is the 675 LT. So many McLarens have come out in the past few years. It's like... You know, they were sleeping for years all together and then all of a sudden they decided, you know what, let's launch a few cars. Love the design of the McLaren. Let's see this, a Lambo. This is the only Lambo in the whole showroom, unfortunately. It's an Aventador Coupe. And uh, we've actually driven the car, so why are we even looking at it? Classic Ferraris look really very nice, but you know, the latest ones look even better somehow. The Bentley is being charged, it's not an electric. And <laughs> we've got another Bentley here. The good thing about Bentley cars is that, you know, if there is a Bentley, now this happens to be obviously the Continental Flying Spur. So if there is a Bentley around, there has to be a Rolls Royce and there is a Rolls Royce as well. With the spirit of ecstasy, boldly standing, you know, it's always good for display purpose to being able to see the spirit of ecstasy at every given moment. I, I don't think there's any mystery left around Rolls Royce because we've shown so many of them already. But this is the Phantom and uh, it's powered by 6.75 litre V12 motor. Love it. Love the amount of wood. You know, there's more wood in this Phantom alone than there is in this whole showroom in spite of having a multitude of cupboards. This is a real classic Ferrari. Look at the interior of this car. Yeah, it's kind of aged well, but so basic, so plain, not much on the inside. Which model is it? Okay, attention goes to the Lambo. Back on the Ferrari, doesn't even get clear lens headlights. Yeah? Okay, this is actually the headlight pops out. And uh, looking inside the interior, this is actually the 400i from 1980s still looks very classic the interior looks really very nice and i particularly love the fact that a rose is standing behind a bentley and <laughs> that sends out a strong message as such 
Now on this corner of the showroom, we've got a BMW. Now this happens to be the only BMW here. This is obviously the Z8, or rather, should I call it the Z8 Roadster. Interior gets that theme which now manufacturers are copying, but it gets the same treatment on the inside, which it gets on the outside as well. And this happens to be, I think a GTO model, it looks like a GTO model. I love the wheels on the roads. This chrome is so freaking cool. So this is actually the 308 GTS Quattro Porte. Interior is something where Ferrari has been nailing it probably, but you know, this is so close for comfort. This actually freaks me out. We have another similar model right there. I love the way the showroom has been done. It's really nicely decked up. And you see the length of the Rolls-Royce Phantom, absolutely staggering how long that car is. But other than the Ferraris here, I mean, there are too many Ferraris somehow, which is actually both a good and bad thing and that classic Porsche. But because this is actually an official Pagani dealership as well, there has to be a Pagani somehow. Now, because the cars are super expensive, you actually got a scale model of the Huayra. And, uh, you know, this might itself cost a lot of money, probably a couple of lakhs or so, or probably even more, maybe finished in carbon fiber, lightweight and the stuff. See the old Porsche cars, see the interior, looks kind of basic now, but still extremely capable, a complete track machine. This is the 959 Comfort. I honestly don't even know when this came, when this went. Little ideas about classic Porsches. And if I have any idea about classic cars, sports cars specifically, then it has to be a Ferrari. And this is the F355 Bernaletta. I love the beige treatment, how it used to be done on older Ferraris. And that, you know, manual gear lever, that's also super cool. Yeah, gated. So engine is actually not open and this is actually quite close, uh, not really close. So it's a lot of comfort there in terms of spacing. Again, the Bentley is super long and this is the GT2 RS with a spoiler, which is so big that it can dry all my clothes, which are unfortunately not drying in this weather currently. I love the wheels on a Porsche car. The wheels just look mind bogglingly phenomenal and the car is extremely capable, extremely understated and very refined as well. Uh, this green color is something which is very unique. You don't really see this kind of color often and I don't think even a single unit in India would be having this particular color. Turbo S, we, did we miss this section? We actually went through this, but you know, every time I'm moving anywhere, all I'm attracted to is of course the Paganis because very rare, you know, I think they made 40 units of the Zonda, just 40 units of the Zonda, correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, this is the La Ferrari scale model, hypercar. And the Pagani makes only hyper cars, so yeah, <laughs> they don't have like mass market production cars. This is an e-bike, I don't even know what it's doing here. It seems a little out of place, but anyways, this is for children probably, or this doesn't even move. And we've got more scale models right here. Yeah, Formula One models and classic Ferrari cars as well. This is the Enzo Ferrari, uh, the 60th anniversary of Ferrari. That's when it was launched, known as the F60. The F70 is obviously the La Ferrari and uh, we somehow missed the McLaren 720S, very underrated car, very underrated in the world of Ferraris and Porsches. McLaren is really giving a run for its money to a lot of car brands. That is actually a very good thing. Somehow, you know, red brightens up the showroom completely with Ferraris and even yellow. But the Paganis in one section of the showroom, see, e even people who've come from India, they're just standing and tickling pictures of the Pagani. You liked it, dude? Uh, so uh, now you could please give us the down payment so we can book yours. You will get it in the next 15 years because we are having a long waiting list on this car. So as you can see, this Pagani is so well done. The design, everything, the color, you know, even where the Italian flag is, everything is so coolly done. Although since the founder of the company happens to be from Argentina, I don't know why an Italian logo is there, but he, I think he's kind of settled there and uh, he was obviously instrumental at the Lambo in getting a few cars out and the likes. So guys, this is a quick tour of a Pagani showroom, rather not really a Pagani showroom, but Karugati, which is one of the biggest showrooms here in Geneva. Very underrated, not really spoken about much, but they're officially the dealers of Pagani, which means that the madness is here. Although I had to change 15 buses and uh, walk, run, jog and sprint for almost 30 miles to reach here. But the effort was well worth it just to have a look at the Paganis. And if you like this vlog, you know what you have to do. Don't look at the smart car. Just give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video real soon.
One thing remains before we end this vlog, I need to show you the size of the rear wheels and they're massive, which is an understatement. Well, that's what she said. And that is the end of the vlog.